Hello, I'm going to show you shortly how you do a test with Tesvision and Proctorio at the Vue. First you go to Tesvision of the Vue and then you select Login with your Vue.net ID. Then you select Take a Test. Then your test will be ready here to select and you click on the blue arrow on the right hand side. First Proctorio starts and checks whether you actually use Google Chrome. If not, you have to start Google Chrome or download it from here. When you've done so, it checks whether the Chrome extension for Proctorio is installed. If it's not, it says click here and it will install itself. You have to add it to Chrome by clicking on this button and allow uh, Proctorio to get um, uh, access to your uh, Chrome web browser. Click on extension. Then Cro Proctorio Chrome says uh, some messages to you what it will do during your exam. And depending on the exam, some options are uh, not possible to do, like uh, clicking or pasting or whatever, or maybe they are able to do it depending on the exam and the settings of the teacher. It also checks whether your uh, internet connection is of sufficient quality. Uh, sometimes, or mostly, it says, well, we have insufficient memory because uh, Chrome and Proctorio could require at least two gigabytes, but you can actually s ignore this message because mostly it runs by itself without any problems. Then the system diagnostic test uh, starts. It will check whether your webcam is functioning, whether your microphone is functioning, and whether your uh, screen capture will be on. You have to activate the screen capture, so you have to make sure that you only select one screen. If you have two screens attached, then it actually uh, asks you to detach the other screen, so you, there's only one screen visible here. But you have to click this uh, window over here before the share button over here becomes active. Uh, if you've done so, then it also says that the desktop is working and it has already checked the internet connection. Then you're ready to begin your exam. Proctor exam now says your exam is about to begin, but rest assured, the time for your exam is not yet to begin. It only begins when you have the first question of test vision on screen. So make sure you have uh, gone to the restroom, that you have some water and sit comfortably. And now the authentication process starts by clicking on the next. First, you have to show your identification card, which must be a VU student card or an ACTA student card, uh, and not a HEMA card as shown here. Then. It does a webcam image test, so it makes uh, good pictures of you, and then it can uh, actually detect whether you're in view or not, or if you're moving uh, behind the camera or uh, other things that you do. And then you have to do a room scan. It says room scan in the interface, but we want you to do only a desk scan, so we don't need to see your whole room, we only want to see what's on your desk. So you have to pick up your uh, laptop or uh, maybe the mobile camera that you've attached and then move it around to show the top of your uh, desktop uh, maybe behind your computer maybe below your computer and that's sufficient for now uh, in another video i hope to show you how to do this with your laptop so if you've done so you just move around slowly with your uh, webcam or your uh, laptop to show your desk not the whole room um, then it has to says that you have to accept the exam agreements and you click accept and begin the exam now. Um, it can be that there is maybe an interruption somewhere during your exam. Don't worry, you can just go ahead, log in to Test Vision again and uh, restart your exam. It uh, remembers where you left off uh, during the exam if you have done something wrong uh, by accident, for example. And then the test starts when you have uh, not only the instruction but the first question actually in screen. During the exam, there is a little floating window over here in which you can check whether your webcam is still working, uh, in which you can see if your laptop is charged, and you can also, very important here, click on this button to start a chat with Proctorio if you have any kind of problems by when logging in. So this is actually the main part of it. If you've done your test, you just uh, submit your answers, and then uh, by ending screen sharing, your exam has ended and you have been logged out. So this is in short how you go through and set up a test vision test with Proctorio. Thank you.